Hello, 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 hello. This is Hi. Brittany, your podcast host today for Truth Be Told. How are you? Good. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It is an honor to be here. I'm so thankful that you took the time to talk to me today. I'm sorry about the time conflict. I forgot you're in Texas. <laughs> it's okay. Everybody I talk to is usually in Eastern. So when I saw three, I'm like, okay, that's two my time. I'm actually in Eastern. Oh, so you said it for me. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm you. sorry. That's my fault. Next time I'll make sure I clarify that. But thank you so much. You know, I just had to put that out there. I like to be really real and authentic on here. Um, before we get started, I just want to introduce you guys to my co I mean my interviewer today. She's amazing. Her name is Elaney. This is episode number 11. It's called Self-Talk. I really thought about you for this topic because Elaney is a fitness coach and she's also an entrepreneur and she's very positive and just full of life. So I'm just honored that you came on the show today. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your kind words. <laughs> so the only thing I wanted to start off with was just asking you, what is your definition of self-talk? So uh, for me, self-talk would be, you know, what you really say in your head. Um, and I would stress that it would be when you're going through something or at a stressful moment, um, because that is when you really know if you are, you know, if you condition yourself to be positive, because it's easy to be happy when everything's good. But, you know, when you're going through something or when it's a stressful moment, something as easy as three kids just running around, dropping water, throwing food, right? Like, what are you telling yourself in that moment? Or, you know, if you're having an argument with somebody or a disagreement, what are you telling yourself in your head at that moment? Um, so that's what I would define as self-talk, just going a little bit deeper um, than just normal and being on the surface. Right, definitely. It's something that is a must for all mothers. I just want to let you know this is a safe place because I'm a mother too. Um, I know sometimes we plan on our kids being somewhere or we, you know, we try to, okay, I'm about to do this. We tell them one thing and they're kids. So, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm learning, they're learning. And so I'm just like, it's cool. It's, yeah, I just kind of learn to go with the flow. I think that's what sometimes we don't allow ourselves to do sometimes. We always want to take control of a situation. Right, yes. Yeah, and so um, could you tell the audience what are some things that you do uh, as far as, so what, I'm gonna ask you this, what are four things that you say to yourself every day as far as self-talk? Um, so I tell myself that I'm so happy I woke up um, and the reason why is because I went through a time of very, very dark depression and I would wake up and be really mad that I woke up. I would wake up and be like, oh my, like, like, it's almost like I did it. Like I, like I wanted to, um, I, it's so sad to say this, but I mean, it, it's almost like I wanted to die in my sleep, um, mm -hmm. because I was so depressed and I was in such a dark place. So now I really tell myself, I am so happy and I'm so grateful that I woke up today. You know, I'm, I'm happy because I can impact my kids and I can make a difference in somebody's life. Nice. Um, I tell myself that I love myself. I tell myself that I am proud of myself and I tell myself that I am good enough. Well, that sounds awesome. It sounds like you know how important it is to have a positive mindset. Yes, yeah. I've learned, yes. It took a while. <laughs> and I have to work on it, but yes, I've definitely come a very long way. I, I love it. And see, you definitely reflect that as well. Um, your personality definitely shows that your self-image, that you have come a long way. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your journey and what made you get into being a fitness coach and being on the self-journey that you're on right now? Absolutely. Um, so I had my daughter in 2020 and I slowly started gaining some weight. Um, and the more weight I gained, the deeper I felt in my depression. Um, that's what it felt like. And 2021, I said, you know what? I am just gonna just start losing weight and I'm just gonna 
I'm just gonna do it. Um, so I just started losing weight. The first month I lost like 15 pounds. Second month I lost 11 pounds. Um, and even though I did lose the weight, I wasn't feeling any better at all. Mm -hmm. um, I was introduced to the products, um, to TLC products, which is the detox tea, the IASO detox tea, and Nutriverse, Nutriverse multivitamin. And the reason why I stress this part about it is because the products helped change the course of my weight loss. Okay. Right. So it wasn't necessarily just like weight. Now my body is functioning the way it's supposed to little by little like it's actually getting better um so when i started taking the products not only was i losing the weight but i was feeling so much better i had more energy i had more um you know i was not so bloated right. um so all of like you know they, they it's like a joke an inside joke it's like you're not full of crap anymore because right. i was like, go to the bathroom um and then so I was definitely taking that every single day. I was detoxing my body and I was, you know, taking my vitamins every single day. And then I found out about um, another thing called NRG. Mm -hmm. And that is the true, true game changer as a mom. At this time I was working full time and um, I was a teacher. And being oh, wow. a teacher, yes, being a teacher was very, very stressful. Uh -huh. um, not because of the kids. I absolutely love the kids. I wish I could bring them home with me every day. Right. But um, just the paperwork and everything else that goes in it. Um, so I would come home. I would like feed my kids, put them to bed. And I'd be so mad at night. I'd literally just be mad because I was tired. It wasn't just like that I was mad at them. I was just tired. Right. Um, when I started taking NRG, mm -hmm. um, my complete like my day just shifted. Um, it helps with mental clarity, it helps with focus, and it gives you energy. I don't take it for like the energy bouncing off the wall. I take it so I can, you know, focus on on my task at hand and just keep me on track all day long. So that's really what keeps me focused. Um, so it's a vitamin? NRG is a capsule. It's like an energy capsule. Okay. Yes. Um, and like I said, it helps with mental clarity. It helps with focus. It helps with, uh, it burns 300 calories. Oh, wow. Yes. And it helps just your body overall. There's so many look into amazing, that. Yes. There is so many, so many amazing testimonies um, that have come from people from using NRG. Tell us about the resolution drops that I'm going to be getting from you soon. You got me wanting to look at the NRG because I'm like, Really, to be honest with you, let me, I, I, I didn't mean to stop you. Um, I'm just want to let you know that what you're doing is amazing. And the transformation from your mind and actually working out physically, you're just letting us know that the products that you're taking are reflecting that. Um, and I'm amazed. And that's why I'm at a time in my life where in this self journey, I am the mind is really important to me. And I know that every day I have to nourish my mind, but I want to confess like my eating habits suck. Like I'm not there yet. Like I'm there, but I'm like, okay, Brittany, which route do you want to go? Because I've been following, um, it's, a, it's some people online, Mr. and Mrs. Two Weeks. They do a RI28. They're in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, his mom, Mr. Two Weeks, is I love her to death. And I just started following him and his journey. And I was like, okay, I'll do the programs. You know how they have the programs or whatever. But I've never stuck to anything. I even know a lot of ladies that are doing what you're doing, but I've never actually um, sat down and took the time to focus and do it. Because this shows that you have a lot of discipline. That's really what I wanted to say out of all of that. <laughs> you know, um, I'll be honest with you. I, I do think I do have discipline. And when I set my mind on something, I'm somebody who does it. Um, but I was talking to somebody the other day and she's like, if I'm just consistent, I can do it. And one thing that I learned from the products is that because they cut, because they give your body what it needs now, it's, it's a whole, it's like a mind, body and soul thing. Right. Because your body is now has the vitamins and nutrients that it needs. It's not going to be craving all of the things that you're craving, you know, because you're taking 
the because you're detoxing your body of all the crap that's inside of it now you're not you're not feeling sluggish and bloated anymore so while i people like i feel like it helps not i feel like i know it helps with consistency Mm-hmm. um because it's putting your body in peak performance and you have to be you have to take the products right it's not going to be a one day thing you for one in one month you will notice the difference with the nrg you'll notice the difference in a day um but for your whole body to start working the way it's supposed to you will have to you know just take them taking them will be consistent and that will help you um mm-hmm. because with the nrg one thing that i did want to mention was that um i did some research on it recently and it actually has something in there that is used to fight depression um which is what led me out of my depression um just when i started taking it consistently i feel like i started waking up more and i made a post on instagram the other day like hey i I've, i've been sleep for too long um and these are all the things that helped me wake up to help me see like there's more like i should be excited to wake up right. every single day because there's somebody who does not get to wake up mm-hmm. there's somebody who doesn't get to love on their loved ones their spouses their kids and you can yeah, all should be that. excited to wake up every day yes sometimes yes. we take for granted what's most important Yep. And I had to realize I had to center myself. Really, um it took, you know, I it takes an effort every day, but I definitely realized that life can you can be here one day and gone tomorrow. Right? Yeah, and so life is precious, so why hang on to the negativity as far as like self-talk? Why let something bother you? Because what people don't realize is that 80% of what we think is negative. When I was researching that, I was like, "Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that our brain is programmed to think negative." Because we are like I think it's our subconscious, it's it's created to protect us, right? So, if we think too positive, then we we think we can do too much. Right. And then it's like, "Wait, no, wait a minute. Like don't do too much. Then we're not like you, you may just do out of your you'll do too much out of your comfort zone." Mm-hmm. Um so I think the negativity comes from trying to protect us. Um but in reality, it's not real protection. We just stay in survival mode because we're not really fulfilled. We're not doing anything that's fulfilling us. Mm-hmm. And I had to learn that too. I'm still learning. Like and I was like, you know, I'm just going to put myself out there. and either you love me or you don't i enjoy the tips that you give me or whatever britney do this like my family you know they're very blunt they're going to tell you britney you too loud britney that don't sound right i don't like that you know it's i appreciate yes. it though <laughs> yes yes yeah is there anything that you can think of as far as you know learning yourself and as far as self talk when the negative thoughts come what are some things that you do to rebuttal those thoughts um so one thing that i do is i read mm-hmm. i'm very big on personal development and as an entrepreneur you have to because you have to unlearn basically everything well i know for me i was not raised in an entrepreneurship environment or with an entrepreneur family or anybody who you know was an entrepreneur so i have to unlearn most of the things that i've learned to relearn things um and that's what that's something that this business has taught me it has taught me to really focus on what do i want right and have to detach it from the things that i've learned because a lot of thing a lot of times we think that there's something that we want that's not really it it's because we were we've been conditioned for that right our culture yes yes our culture our environment school parents siblings and like i said it goes back to the our subconscious you know trying to protect us our environment our parents our siblings they were also they're also trying to protect us it's like don't try something new because if you fail you're going to be sad not knowing that you can try something new and if you fail you can learn from it but what if you do succeed Right. Right? Like what if you do succeed and I cannot imagine somebody lear- trying to learn something new and not learning anything at all. Mm-hmm. I just cannot imagine that. Like if you're trying something new, 
there is something you're going to get out of it. Definitely. This is amazing. Everything you're saying is just amazing because, you know, we were talking before and we were like discussing what we were going to talk about. And in my mind, you know, not even knowing nothing about Miss Alani, you know, I was like, girl, you got this. Like, it's going to just flow. <laughs> you are already representing self-talk. Um, every day, I appreciate you showing your authentic self, getting on camera and showing us your journey, your transformation. Um, anything like as far as showing us the good and the bad. And and I appreciate that. I think that you should just keep doing that because you're shining bright. So I had to say that. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate that. And that is the goal. Um, I'm still, I still feel like I'm developing. Um, we're right. always developing. We My are. Says we are always becoming. Becoming. Um, yes. So in that, I feel like because I'm still developing, there's things I want to learn. But I still feel like there's like... I want to, my name means light. So I want to bring, I want to be the person that brings light to other people. Like when uh-huh. I, you know how there's people, they you, they step in the room and they're loud. So you know they're there because they're so loud. Loud. Right? Um, those <laughs> I love those people because I need it. Like I'm more of a calm down type of person. But for me, I want to be the person that when I step in a room, I want to light up the room. Like I want people to feel my energy very positive and just light up in a very positive and encouraging and beautiful way. That is something that I'm really, like, I want to grow into my actual name. Right. Well, you're already doing that. Um, You're already a light within the social media. And I'm pretty sure if you're showing me all the way from Texas, then you're showing those locally around you. Um, So definitely, thank you. Thank you for um, giving everybody positive reinforcement that this is always a learning experience that is something that you have to focus on daily yeah practice that oh, wow. okay right <laughs> you don't just wake up and say no it's, it's an all-day thing especially at the beginning where you're reconditioning your brain and your mind and your subconscious um because things get thrown at you all throughout the day um but if you don't stay alert it's going to be so easy to bring you back to that moment where you're like, ah, I can't do this or all the negative (laughs) stuff, which will always happen. I don't want people to feel like you just, you reach a destination. No, it's never a destination. I had to learn that. It's a journey. Yes. And it's a beautiful journey, you know, and then you get to impact other people. That's why I love what I do. Um, because I, like when you do it for yourself, it's beautiful. But when you're able to help somebody else do it, that changes everything. Right. It's all about serving. Yes. I remember sitting in the car with my mom when I was younger and I said, I want to change the world. She's like, you can't do that. And I'm like, well, if I change one person's life, I can change the world because I'll change their world and everybody around them. That's all that matters. One person. Yes. Yes. Because that's that one person that will impact others. Or you just don't know what people are going through. No, and the, especially with the pandemic, I had to come to real, realization with that. And then when I dropped the podcast and people were reaching out to me, I was like, baby, I'm doing something right. Like, right. okay, because yes. we want to be perfect. We want to show this image that everything is together. And nothing, nobody, not even the celebrities, you know, they put on this persona because that's what they have to do um in some cases you know but they're regular people just like us <laughs> absolutely yes they are i want to thank you so much for coming on episode number 11 self-talk with miss alani um please let us know where we can find you on social media so i am on instagram first name last name elaine arguello um e-l-e-n-i-a-r-g-u-e-l-l Oh, um, and on Facebook, Elaine Arguello as well. Um, I'm working on my TikTok. I am not there yet. <laughs> I'm not either. It's okay. that's my daughter. 
<laughs> I'm trying to get my son to help me and he is not having it. But um, yes, you can find me on Instagram and on Facebook. And you know, I have a link on there. I am, I'm available if anybody wants to message me just to talk a little bit more um, you know, join my team. It's just so many things. Um, and this is great because, um, I just hit a new rank in my company, um, today. Yes. So I am a proud director with total life changes. So things are, I, I love it. How things are just happening and you're just, I'm just helping other people. Um, so this was very special for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm honored that you came on the show today. I am signing out. This is episode number 11, Self Talk. Thank you, Miss Alani. Thank you.